I don't suppose you want to talk about the stiff arm from last year or what you remember about it or anything like that. No, I kind of don't. This happened, it's over with. Their run defense is uh, third ranked in the league. What are some of the things that, that stand out when, when you watch them? Yeah, they're third ranked for a reason. Um, even looking back, like, I think 2019, two years ago, still got some of the same guys who played together for a long time, who know the scheme very well, who does great in the scheme, um, uh, have a lot of experience from top to bottom. So it's a really good defense. Derek, what, what do you remember about last year's game with Buffalo? Not the stiff arm, but uh, just kind of the, the, you know, the COVID chaos that led up to it. And, you know, you guys ended up playing so well against the Bills despite everything that went on. What are you, kind of your memories of that? Oh, yeah, last year it was crazy, um, especially with that little deal we had with COVID and then um, having to, uh, you know, play, play on a Tuesday, which we uh, end up winning. But, you know, every time we play Buffalo, it's always tough. Um, it was um, it was tough at the beginning of that game last year, but we you know, coming out you know, with a big win. But you know, playing these guys is always tough. You know, they're always solid in all three phases. When you look at your, your, I guess the entire body of work on offense, how much room do you think there is for improvement? How much better do you think you guys can, can get? Yeah, you always is looking to improve every week, um, whether it's uh, together or individually. You know, that's, that's always um, main focus, just improving each and every week. No matter, what, no, matter, no matter how it goes, just always want, wanting to be better. Yeah. For, for you in the run game uh, overall, uh, where are some areas that can be better? I mean, you, you, you know, you've been stringing some things together, but uh, is it maybe running better in the first half, or is there any specific areas that you've been able to hone in on? Yeah, I think just, um, uh, I would say just seeing it and, you know, just, just hitting it, you know, um, no hesitation. Whenever I see it, just 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 go hit it. Like last week, um, Taylor said we left some meat in the bone. So just trying to be better than I was last week and make the most out of my plays and get the most I can when I'm the balls in my hands. You had mentioned how records are made to be broken. Uh, obviously, Emma Smith's record is something that seems like it's unlikely. But do you think that that's something that that will never be broken? Um, I really. Really don't think that far about you know his record. Um, when we all know his his body of work, you know, I don't really try to get too ahead of myself with records at all. You know, just focus on me and what I need to do to help this team win and what we do as a team. I don't try to get caught up in all the, the records and things like that. I mean, that's that's just take care of itself. Think of what Mike seems to come up with something every week, some kind of narrow focus. I don't catchphrase mm -hmm. mantra of the week. How much of that? do to help you guys kind of narrow the focus and have a theme of the week? Um, I just coach. Um, he finds any way to, you know, help us get better or put an edge to this team on all three phases and um, something to instill in our minds to go out there and focus on um, each and every week to go out there and get better, push each other. And, you know, we all love it and we feed off of it. What's this week's? Um, you know, uh, I think it's just the message is, you know, no matter the stats or whatever is whatever is out there, just focus on what we need to do and um, to improve all week and go out there and try to get a win. You know, I mean, no matter what, you know, rankings or anything like that, just go out there and line it up and, and go play. Tara, do you enjoy like this the Monday night football stage and the opportunity to play when everybody's watching? Uh, football is football to me. I don't care. We play on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We we'll go out there and play. How about for the fans, though, Derek? Um, that you know, you don't get many Monday night football games here. The last one was 2017, and for the fans, just to, to go out there and kind of treat them with something and, and feed off their energy as well. Say it again. I mean, how big is it for the fans? I mean, you talk about it for yourself, obviously. It's just another football game, but for the fans, I think they think of it as a, a big opportunity for you guys to be on the national stage. Um, yeah, it's always nice to get national national attention, and um, hopefully the fans come out and uh, pack out the stadium and uh, bring that intensity that they've been bringing. Um, and you know, because we love it, love having a packed house, love having that energy, you know, that extra extra push. And um, you know, it's very important to have them um, in the stadium and packing out. And you know, anytime you're on national TV, is always big for your organization for your team. Dude, we usually see you 50 minutes maybe before kickoff when you come out for warm-ups. What do you do to kind of get your mind right for 
for game day? You listen to music, you kind of reflect? Uh, probably slapping Roger Ben and Taylor in the face and making sure that they're ready to go. No, I'm warming up and doing everything I need to do to get my body ready to go out there and go out there and play. Eric, What's it kind of, go, go ahead. Nope. Sorry, you talked about having the same approach no matter what game it is, no matter what day of the week, but when you do go up against a tough rushing defense mm -hmm. like the Bills, how might your mindset or how might your approach differ a little bit knowing that you are facing a tougher defense on the other side? Yeah, I think it's just watching film from the previous match matchups and then watching, watching how they do this year, just studying their defense. And seeing, you know, the things that you know they're doing or or differently, and you know, seeing over the years, you know, my play, and you know, just try to improve that and keep watching that. What's the? Uh, is there a reason for the theme this week or the jersey? No, not at all. Just fashion. Do you hear during the course of a game a lot of chatter from t obviously teams gunning to try to stop you? Uh, do you hear a lot of chatter from opposing teams early in games and maybe you don't hear maybe as much from them as the, as the game goes on? Um, no, I wouldn't say not really. I mean, of course, I mean, you have some guys that, you know, like to talk and that's, you know, part of their game um, when we're playing. But it's n nothing crazy. I mean, you, just, you have some guys that talk, some guys that don't. But I don't really try to pay attention to it. I might do sometimes, but I try not to most of the time. To uh, Adam Bobo about your recovery process, and he said, uh, you know, you take it very seriously. One of the most serious guys about it that he's worked with. Why is that so important to you? I think because I know I'm going to get these work workload questions, so I got to make sure I'm <laughs> uh, uh, taking care of my body. But yeah, just it's important to uh, have my body ready each and every week and, you know, and doing everything I can to, you know, be out here and come to work every day and, you know, do what I love to do. When did you realize that that was something that's so important to have within your regiment? Um, like I said, just being around guys uh, when I first got in the league and, you know, seeing the success that they had and seeing how they take care of themselves, just asking them and watching them and, you know, just trying to implement it into my, you know, the great ones. You have reasons why they're always great, so. How do you feel to be in a, a time where, you know, there's all these advances and all these options that you have rather than, you know, there was a time guys would just ice their knees probably the next day and move on, right? Yeah, it's crazy. It's, it's incredible all the resources that we have, you know, for our bodies, for our recovery process to help us heal. You know, just very thankful for it. Do you talk at all? You, you talk back to any of those guys or say anything? Is your personality, play, your playing personality the same as this? I just ask them how they... How how you guys doing? That's what we just say, but no, I'm kidding. I don't really talk yet. No.